just as long as it is. Cookie Masters in here, and don't worry if you hear this noise. It's just my butthole. I bet before you had this day marked on your calendars for months now. Everybody's got their screws. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Oopsie Daddy Male Pregnancy Tests. When you need to know quick whether you're going to be a daddy or not, trust Oopsie Daddy. Just pee and wait. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Get ready, time for question. One. Right off the bat, that's one smooth infestation. Say you wanted to dress up a bunch of rats as members of the Rat Pack. What adorable rat accessory would you not need to purchase? A tiny glass of scotch for a rat Dean Martin? A tiny cigarette for a rat Joey Bishop? A tiny pipe for a rat Bob Ho- Player one, who do you want to screw? Player two, you've been screwed, you got five seconds! Bob Hope was not a member of the Rat Pack, so you would not need to buy any tiny rat accessories for him. But if you ever need a rat to entertain the rat troops or host the Rat Academy Awards, Rat Bob Hope is definitely your guy. Well, Player One, looks like your plan backfired. Pucker up for beloved childhood character obesity. Remember that old cartoon, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids? Yeah? No? Either way, I'm gonna ask a question about it. What might you hear Fat Albert say while consuming a tub of lard? Hey, 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 this is some good cow fat. Hey, 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 this is some tasty pig fat. Lard is made from rendered pork fat. <laughs> By far the saddest time Fat Albert said hey 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 is when his doctor told him they'd have to amputate his foot due to his diabetes. Dance with me, Disco 3. Coming up, score loser, and it's time to chalk up one dis or dat. Player 1. Why don't you play this dis or dat and see if you can catch up? I'm gonna read off seven games, and for each one, you tell me if you win by getting the highest score, or you win by getting the lowest score. If it's high score, press the square button. If it's low score, press the circle button. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player one, because if player one gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the cash. All right, let's get started. Monopoly. Nazi. Golf. Uno. Hungry, hungry hippos. Hearts. Um, you don't know Jack. Hmm, maybe you should stick to Jenga. To me, games aren't about scoring high or scoring low, but finding something to do with your family that limits the amount of conversation. This one's known as... Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus. The name of a Spider-Man villain from the 70s. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Over the years, Spider-Man has actually had two villains named the Kangaroo. Both of them mostly just good at jumping. Although, I think Uranus would make a much better Spider-Man villain. Giant ice planets with no breathable air are a spider's natural enemy. Finger! 
And on its way, warning, only 0.0000034 kilobytes remaining. Oh, my computer is so slow these days. It's bogged down with too much, uh, data. I have to get some of this data off my computer. I guess we'll need to buy some cloud storage for all this data. Because it's the biggest, which cloud storage option is most likely to be able to fit all my data? Cirrus Cloud Storage? Stretch? Player 3, who gets your screw? When this player one, you're screwed. You got five seconds to give me an answer. Sorry, no take backs. Player 3, that turned out to be a great screw. Why not grab a few more bucks while you're at it? Players 2, 3, and 4. Cumulonimbus clouds are those giant clouds that can extend from fairly low to very high in the atmosphere. Hopefully that will provide me with enough storage space. I have a lot of German data on my computer. A lot of German data. We've finished round one, and player three is at the front of the class. But for how long? Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And keep in mind, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Okay, we're bringing it on. This one's called... The best Blink-182 question we've ever done. What should Blink-182 change its name to if it wanted to represent the number of times, on average, an adult blinks in a minute? Blink-10, Blink-25, Blink-70, or Blink-181? Player 4, where are you putting that screw? Player 1, you've been screwed! You got five seconds to pick an answer! You got it! <laughs> no, you didn't. Superlative screwing Player 4. Time to twist the knife. Player four. Under normal circumstances, the average adult blinks about 10, maybe 15 times a minute. But don't blink too fast, or you might miss Blink 182's rise and fall from cultural legitimacy. Player three. Player two. Cute, but no. Seven. Open wide for... Are you there, God? It's me, Jimmy Fallon. Imagine, in order to appeal to younger viewers, Christian Network TBN airs a Late Night with Seth Meyers knockoff called Late Night with Seth from the Bible. What would you hear on the show? This show is live from my father Noah's Ark. Please welcome my murderous brother Cain. So, my sister Mary Magdalene has been in the news, or give it up for my band leader and mother... God has forsaken you. It's so obvious. Seth is the son of Adam and Eve and the younger brother of Cain and Abel. God gave Adam Seth as a replacement for Abel after Cain killed him. Of course, in biblical times, you had to be careful flirting with your talk show guests because you were probably related to them. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here's one for you. Getting my YouTubes tied. And you'll be treated like an instant star for a right answer. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right Question Put these famous viral YouTube videos in order of shortest to longest David after dentist Double rainbow Dramatic chipmunk Player 2, who gets the screw? Player 3, you're getting screwed, you got 5 seconds the viral video of the dramatic chipmunk is 5 seconds long, David After Dentist is 1 minute and 58 seconds long, and the double rainbow video is 3 minutes and 29 seconds long. I try not to watch any video that's over 10 seconds long because I have the attention span. Oh my god, look at that monkey drinking its own pee! <laughs> Player 2, I don't have good news. <laughs> Try this on for size. Lime and punishment.
Ugh, my breath is awful. Luckily, I've got a bunch of loose Tic Tacs in this drawer here. At least I think these are all Tic Tacs. Which of these Tic Tacs should I probably not eat? The orange Tic Tac, the blue Tic Tac, the brown Tic Tac, or the red Tic Tac? Tic Tac, no. <laughs> the right answer coming up. Yeah, they don't make brown Tic Tacs. Yep. Yep, that's a rat turd. Take a good look at... Flow me to the moon. Let's say an astronaut on Mars is experiencing her time of the month. If she stays there for an entire Martian year, how many more times of the month will she experience? 22 times of the month, 12 times of the month, 2 times of the month, or she won't have another time of the month. Player 2, honest mistake. Player 1, whoa, oh, that was nice. Player 4, a Martian year lasts approximately 687 Earth days, which would mean the astronaut would get her period about 22 times. <laughs> Truly making it the red planet. <laughs> Player three? No, but that could mean she's pregnant. <laughs> but guys, you can find out with... A male pregnancy test from Oopsie Daddy. Because men should be involved in some other part of the process, right? This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 bucks if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You say hotel, I say motel. And where will you be staying this evening? Good luck. show that's taken the world by storm hosted by none other than terry st pancakes the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas mr edgar loud shoes come on down i can't believe i went, don't say pajamas what was that 
You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh-oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that you sleep in? Ooh, uh, pajamas? <laughs> Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with bojamas. Well, it's not pajamas. <laughs> Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my god and say pajamas. <laughs> Fudge pug! Catch all the action here on... Don't say pajamas! You all have to leave. Hi, my name's Terry. And if you're gonna die, come on down to Cemetery's Mortuary. Why? Hit it, guys. Where do you go when someone needs to be buried? Cemetery! Single plots or doubles if you were married? Cemetery! We'll bury you deep and we'll pack the dirt firm. Our caskets are airtight to keep out the worms. We'll water your grass, treat your headstone with care, and that's about it. Cause you ain't going nowhere.